Let's try that. Is that better? Can you hear me now? Yes, okay. For some reason... For some random reason, I decided to change the device. Let's try this again. Good morning to Arun, GDOG, King Capybara, Mighty Munchkin, Hassan, McTelligence, Shiny Cornholio, Amber. Welcome on in, everybody. Good to see you all. You're sad. Why are you sad, Galaxy Nations? 139 for Zekrom. Dang, Hassan. I hope today's the day. Aster, what's going on? Good to see you. Can you guys hear the music okay? Is the music fine for you? Going to 500 checks? At least. At least 500. I don't honestly know how many checks we did yesterday. Uh, it was definitely more than 250 each because uh, the counter wasn't working correctly for the first hour and a half or so. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely hit at least 500. One of your channels got, uh, friends' channels got terminated, but likely they had a backup channel, so uh, you can be happy about that. Well, that's a good way of looking at it. Uh, first Kabutops only took 184 checks, second one's taking over 11 hours, yikes. Um, yeah, Aster, it has been a while. I've been, I've been well, hope you have too. It's good to see you back. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just going for the old uh, fossils today, day two. I think I got I, I I got a pretty good feeling about today. I have a pretty good feeling we're gonna get something. Shiny Cornholio, good morning to you, my friend. Good to see ya. Yeah, intelligence. That's them. Uh, them RNG odds kind of balancing themselves out, huh? That stinks, though. I'm sorry, buddy. I hate it when that happens. I hope you were all having a good Sunday so far. Did anyone do the uh, Mega Heracross raids yesterday? And if so, did you get lucky? Did you find that shiny? Wi-Fi is weird, so you can't hunt Red Jalagi until you get that fixed. Uh, do some more DA hunts after Zekrom. Maybe rush your ram on the sword version. Okay. Mighty Munchkin, you did. Did you get the shiny? I've been good. Got two jobs now, so I've been really busy with work. Missed these morning streams. Dang, yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. But I'm glad you're uh, glad you're doing well, and I'm glad that you're able to hang out today. Nice to see you. Shiny, 98% hair across. That's crazy. Congratulations, Mighty Munchkin. I did not uh, do the Mega Heracross raid yesterday, but I'll tell you what I did do that I was very excited about. One of the SOS hunts I was doing in Gen 7 in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, I finally finished uh, one of the longest uh, SOS hunts I've ever done. Um, been working on it off and on for about a week now, just under a week. I finally got the SOS, the Shiny Turtonator. Which is awesome. So now I just have to um, get Drampa, which I've also been doing for about a week. I'm hoping that pops today. And then this morning I started, and I don't necessarily need it from SOS, but it'd be a nice flex to uh, get it. Um, I started the rehunt for Delmize. And then uh, once I get those two, I'll have all of the SOS call rate of three Pokemon, except for Kangaskhan. On that one, I'm holding off because my good friend Amber from Dice Art Universe and I are going to have a little gentleman's, gentlewoman's race to uh, try and get that, that her and I need to uh, get set up. We're going to be hunting it uh, in this this format, this way, on Sword and Shield via Soft Resets. 
Shiny hunting Fiona, nice, nice. Are you uh, hatching eggs? Uh, in what what game are you hatching eggs? I mean, obviously you're hatching eggs, but what game are you hatching eggs in? I have kind of a love hate relationship with that shiny. Um, I had what I call the classic hefty unlucky luck. I. Um, I just got my shiny charm in BDSP right after uh, right after home compatibility came out. I got the shiny charm in BDSP solely for Masuda Hunt and solely for the Fiona Masuda Hunt. And uh, it was a Friday night, and I wanted to do a Fiona Masuda Hunt on the, my Saturday morning stream. And uh, when I went to bed, I just wanted to see how long the eggs would take to hatch. So you know, I collected you know five eggs. And I was just running around just to get a feel for how long the hatches were. And I started dozing off. And the five eggs hatched and I went to bed. And I woke up the next morning and opened up the game and realized the second egg that hatched was shiny. And I didn't even realize it. Uh, and I was like, well, that's cool. I got the Fiona in two eggs. But now I can't stream it. Try and make your Blastoise fall asleep so you can get a good pick of it. It's not falling asleep. What the heck, Blastoise? Go to bed. I uh, can't say today, but uh, good luck and have fun. Thank you, Storms. Hope you have a good day and have fun today as well. That's crazy. I know. It's that it's that unlucky luck that I sometimes have. Like, yeah, I got it in two eggs, which is insane, but I got it off stream when I planned to stream it. If I If I wouldn't have done those test eggs... If I would not have done those test eggs, I would have had a stream where I got on the second egg and I would have been an internet legend and everyone would know me and love me and I'd have a billion subscribers. A Fiona and Violet and 494 eggs. Dang, that's awesome, Asan. You know, what's funny is if it was like five eggs earlier, it would have been its Pokedex number. I think, I want to say it's 489. So 489 or 490 is Fiona. Fell asleep and then instantly woke up. Come on, Blastoise. Yeah, you might be my Munchkin. We uh, we might have uh, some people in streams that uh, want to gift us uh, some memberships. Never, never asked for, never expected. But, you know, sometimes people in the stream uh, are generous. You have woken. Good morning, Big Cheese. You're an internet legend. Well, thank you, Aston. I'm a legend in my own mind. So I see a lot of people here that were in the stream yesterday, and I got a question for you because I know something interesting yesterday afternoon when I was looking at YouTube. I did not realize this, but when you go back and watch previous live streams that are in the shorts world, uh, it shows up as the uh, you know regular stream with the really narrow, skinny. Um, uh, you know, stream look, you guys know what I'm talking about, where it's like, you know, you got the widescreen video, but then you got the narrow slit in the middle, and then it's got uh, the comments and everything underneath. When you guys that were here yesterday, when you were watching it, did you see it in what should be a shorts mobile stream? Or did you see it in that regular version with just the really narrow uh, view? Uh, format, thank you. Format, thank you, Kieran. You're always a lifesaver. I hope you're having a good afternoon, Kieran. Zero out of four and check 140. Dang. It was proper shorts. Okay, interesting. It was proper shorts for you guys. So that's good. That's good. Uh, I know for at least one person, it was not in the proper shorts uh, version. And... Like I said, I didn't realize this until uh, yesterday. If you go back and watch, um, if you watch live views or live streams, like previous live streams that were in the proper shorts format, it will not be in the shorts format anymore. It'll be in the standard format. So I couldn't tell whether or not my stream yesterday was in the proper format or not. Good morning, Phantom. How you doing? You got your shiny Layla yesterday. Congratulations, Reeves. That's amazing. How many checks was it? Do you know? Were you keeping track? Congrats, buddy. 
88, very nice. I am not quite double that. I think we left off at 145. I think I'm at 145 right now. I was thinking, wouldn't it be funny if, um, I mean, I don't know if it'd be funny. Uh, it wouldn't really mean anything. But if I got on 151, I think 151 is kind of like a magic number for the Pokemon community, regardless of what you're doing. Has anyone here ever gotten a shiny on check 151? Uh, you got shiny Tyrantrum and 12 soft resets doing the method. Nice, Phantom. You know what? You got me beat, I think. I think you got me beat. I got my Tyrantrum really quick last Sunday. A week ago today. Um, but I think it was closer to like 20. Hassan, I think so. I think that's why. The, the shiny legends just want you to be as amped up and hyped as possible when they finally show up. Um, so yeah, I'm doing this, uh, strong spawn, soft reset hunt, you know, if that's what you want to call it, wanderer reset hunt, whatever. Um, I've done quite a few in the last week. I did forget one when I was telling you guys yesterday which ones I've gotten so far. Uh, I did go back and look at my pictures and remembered. So I got a Tyrantrum, a, an Archon, a Shuckle, a Digger's Bee, a Licky Licky, a Drudagon, a Wall Rain, and a Tan Growth from last Sunday through Friday. Um, so, been having some pretty good luck on these hunts. I'm hoping it uh, translates over to the live stream because they're a lot of fun. And you know what? Uh, I had only ever done one on stream before. It was right before Scarlet and Violet came out. I did one of these for Dragapult, which is like basically... Other than, I think after that, we went straight into the Reggie Drago. And I think if you've been around for a while, you, you basically know the history of this channel from the time that I started Reggie Drago. But I enjoyed that Dragapult hunt a lot, and so I'm happy I'm finally able to get back into this. This is a fun method for me. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, once you kill 500 Kabuto or whatever Pokemon you're doing... The Brilliant Aura spawns have a 1 in 512 chance of being shiny as opposed to 1 in 1365. Uh, however, the Brilliant Aura spawns only show up about 3% of the time. So, um, it's... I, I've always looked at that strategy as kind of a... How do I put this? I don't think it helps as much as some people think it does, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Uh, like, if you if you have the time, if you want to absolutely maximize your odds, if, if you're not uh, in any rush to get the shiny, there's absolutely nothing wrong with knocking up the 500. And if, you're, if the Pokemon you're looking for has a low spawn rate, like if it's like a 5% or a 1% spawn rate, I, I actually recommend knocking them out. Because when you KO a Pokemon... Uh, the respawn that takes its place has an increased chance of being that same type of Pokemon. Uh, but ultimately, even if you knock out the 500, your chances of the Pokemon being shiny are still 1365, unless it's got the uh, Brilliant Aura Stink on it. I, I mean, I've I've done that with quite a few hunts. I've knocked out the uh, the 500. Uh, it, like I said, it certainly doesn't hurt, but I think some people get confused about how much it helps. If if there is a Pokemon, like let, let me give you an example. So like, outside of um, Galarmine One on Route Three, there's a patch of grass where. The spawns are 99% Roly Coley and 1% Trubbish. If I wanted to go for Roly Coley, I would not bother knocking out the 500 because ultimately I could do more checks uh, on the Roly Coley without KOing them than uh, the Brilliant Ore odds would help increase them. You know what I mean? Uh, it's so Trubbish of a thing, exactly. Uh, I think, I think sometimes uh, there are some people that look at 
the shiny odds and only focus on that uh, when the shiny odds are only one half of a hunting equation. The other half is the encounter rate, right? So, like, let's say... I'm just making up numbers here. They're not even going to be regular shiny odds numbers. Let's say um, a Pokemon has a 1 in 100 chance of being a shiny, but uh, if you knock them out, it's a 1 in 75 chance, right? So you'd say, oh, okay, well, I'm going to knock them out uh, because I'll get my odds down to 175. But if I can do two checks on the 1 in 100, if I can do two checks on the 1 in 100 and the time it takes to knock out one Pokemon, ultimately, statistically, it's going to be a faster hunt to not knock them out and go with the 1 in 100 odds as opposed to the 175. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, yeah. DA odds are 1 in 100 if you have the shiny charm. And that's a good example. That's a good example. So DA odds are great. 1 in 100. Pull. No need for the pull shinies. I already asked people. And uh, and everyone said that they saw it in the, uh, the shorts uh, feed. Everyone saw it in the shorts format. And I'm, and I don't know about you, uh, Shinies, but right now I'm seeing this in the shorts format as well. But good morning, Shinies. Good to see you. You're almost min speed on it. Oh, 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 the Incineroar versus the Cricketune. Gotcha. Whoops, why didn't I not hit the button? And music-wise, we had to go way back. We are in the way back machine. We are back to about two years ago. <clears throat> Wouldn't you know it, I went with Aries Beats yesterday, which we used to listen to all the time, and I got a copyright claim. So now we're going way, way back to the music I first started with on this channel, Wipe That Audio. Caveman times, exactly. You just got crit, oh my goodness, Aries. So we're just going to be listening to some chill synthwave music today. Got some coffee there, Phantom. Nice. Working on my second cup right now. You like summer gang outs? That sounds like it could be fun. You're seeing as normal, not the shorts format, but you think it's a you thing? Uh, I did it yesterday in Razzie, so don't bank on yours. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why some people aren't able to see it in the shorts format. I do know, I don't know if this happened to anybody, I do know from personal experience, if I, because this happens to me with shiny streams all the time, if I click on the link in the Discord, from the Discord announcements, if I click on the link from Discord to go to the stream, it does show up in the standard format, not the shorts format. So, what I do is, uh, like, if I click on the link and it shows up in the standard format, then I click on Shiny's name to go to his channel, and then I go to live streams, and then I click on it there, and then it does show it to me in the shorts format. Experiment, what's going on? Good to see you. Exactly, Hassan. Exactly. That exact same thing happens to me too, Hassan. You and me both, buddy. Oh, the summer hangout song. Gotcha. Gotcha, Mighty Munchkin. You miss me. I missed you too, Experiment. How you been? Hope things are going well for you. You got creamed. Oh my goodness. Did you have fun though? That's what's important. Competitive is hard. That's why I don't try. 
why try something if it's hard, right? That's terrible advice. You had fun? Good. Watch the 3DS server shut down on Pokemon Y the other day, as as it was, and I seen everyone. That's true. That is very true experiment. Um, I was online for pretty much the entire last day doing friend safaris, and I kept seeing passers-by on the 3DS with messages like, you know, rip Wi-Fi or I'll miss you all, things like that. That was pretty neat. I was, it was it was kind of bittersweet seeing all those messages. It was devastating for you. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely the end of an era. Um, thankfully, I uh, I had because I, I I did the friend safaris a few years ago. Uh, but I recently got back into them uh, to rehunt some things in Premier Balls, and I was able to across my two systems check and make sure that I had all the uh, all the safaris that I needed uh, before the thing shut down. Uh, so I think there's probably about maybe close to a dozen Pokemon, the friend safaris, I still need to rehunt in Premier Balls. Uh, but I, I made a couple of like preparations too, just in case. Like, I did have a safari that had a Spiritomb. And just to be safe, uh, just in case I ever lost that safari or anything like that, I caught a regular Spiritomb in a Premier Ball and then moved that up to home. So that worst case scenario, I could hatch eggs in BDSP or Scarlet and Violet. Gonna miss Wonder Trades getting Mythicals. Yeah, I know a lot of people were doing some Wonder Trades that last day. And some people were getting some crazy stuff from them. Uh, I'm sorry, Reeves. Uh, to be fair, though, Reeves, uh, I, the, I think the, uh, the, the one that I didn't add you on, um, I had... For a while now, full uh, full uh, friends. So I would have had to get rid of somebody. No, uh, no offense, but uh, yeah. It, and the other safari, I don't think was very good anyway. There goes shiny Deoxys, uh, Celebi, and Mew. Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, bank and home still work. I mean, you can still you can still hunt for things on the 3DS like I am and transfer them into bank and then up to home. You just can't uh, do any online stuff. Oh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, I get that. I get that, Aster. Oh, yeah. Bank and home are still open. Bank and home are absolutely still open. You just can't you just can't do any online uh, gameplay stuff. But bank and bank and home still work fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, still seeing people uh, online. Your friend list, which is nice. It's actually, Animal Crossing. So say you'll never be able to play Animal Crossing with your friends again. I'm sorry, that stinks. What's the big hefty plans on a big hefty Sunday? You're looking at it, cheese. this and then uh doing some more hunting on uh, the 3ds see if i can get drampa or delmize today and if i get one of those probably you can jump back into friend safaris you love that emote the little paw lynch holiday stream i didn't say that don't uh don't don't misinterpret my words um if blueberry academy had battling classes more people would have gotten competitive possibly Surprised if friendless still works, thought everything would go. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I, uh, I, I thought that screen would be like blank. You know what I'm talking about? The bottom screen that just shows uh, your friends, the passerbys, and everything. I figured that just would have been blank, but uh, apparently it is not. Thank you all for spending part of your Sunday with me. This is a great way to, to wake up and start the day. Good morning, Mystic Emerald. How are you? I'm 
You're on spring break? Nice. Friend list on, oh, the friend list on 3DS. So see Razzy on Ultra Moon Hunting Point Ball. Interesting. You posted? You posted what? I'm missing something. Something's disconnecting. Brain is... Hey, there it is! There it is! Oh my gosh, we got a shiny Omastar... On check 295. How about that? Look at that. I knew we were going to get one today. I knew it. So beautiful. There it is. All right, let's uh, let's catch this thing. Might as well uh, continue to do, uh... No, I'm not going to continue to do uh, resets on Kabutops yet. My goodness gracious. Alright, let's uh, let's catch this thing. Hold on a second. I uh, I pulled a Chem Nation and didn't look up the uh, moose set first. Oh my, a star... Sixty-eight. Oh, we're fine. We're totally fine. I'm totally fine to catch this. First ball catcher, you think so? Thunderbolt doesn't kill. Get out of here, Reeves. Oh, you posted the shiny for me. Wait a second. What you mean you posted the shiny? Oh, posted golf. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you did fantastic on golf today. I did not. Yeah, shiny line was perfect timing. It was. I, I got excited for a second, Cheese. I thought I was going to go into my DM to see a picture of a shiny Uxie. Lobo Gaming, you absolute legend. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. forgetting to give Pangora swords dance. Maybe I should run and give it swords dance and go back into the battle. What do you guys think? No, you don't think that's a good idea? Intelligence, you think I should? I, sh I, I should run, yeah, I teach it swords dance and go back into the battle? No, no. Time for some dual hunting star you and shield and Cresselia and Ultra Moon. Nice. So this is nice because I know there were a couple people yesterday that were asking how to set this up. Perhaps uh, one of them might even be lurking at the moment. So after we catch this, um, I will show you exactly how to set this up. This type of hunt up. And it's even easier if, like me, you have two switches going at the same time. I can't catch the Omen Omastar without Swords Dance. Did I save before the battle? Uh, yes, in fact, I did save before the battle. You gotta do DS for Dialga? Good luck, Mighty Munchkin. Alright, there we go. It's end 1 HP. Imagine I didn't have any uh, Premier Balls. 
Imagine all this and I didn't have any Premier Balls. One, two, three. Cut. All right. Let's get some nature guesses in the chat. And what's fun is we can also do mark uh, guesses if we want. If you guys think we might have some marks. I do have a couple of shinies from this method with marks. All right, we got naive, we got sassy, we got modest, we got rash, we got save before we do anything else. Sleepy by nature with the lazy mark, the not a mark mark, calm, relaxed. I'm gonna say it's, I'm gonna say timid. GG's, thank you, Rianne, and I hope you had a lovely birthday yesterday. I hope to hear all about it. All right, so, uh, yeah, here's here's some of the ones I've already gotten using this method. Uh, we got the Tyrantrum, the Shuckle, the Licky Licky, the Wall Rain, and the Tangrowth. And now we got Omastar. What happened to the Tapu Hunt? Jonas, I put it on hold. I just wasn't really having much fun with it anymore. So I put that on hold to do something I wanted to do. All right, here we go. I uh, I said timid, so let's see if it's timid. It is. It's gentle. Who said gentle? Nobody. Light goal 40. Thank you, Phantom. And let's see if it has a mark. It does not have a mark, unfortunately. Or in this uh, case, a, a ribbon or whatever they call it. Ribbon, mark, title. I don't know. I can't keep track. But look at that beautiful shiny. He looks sick. Release it. Come on, Reeves. All right. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. So um, let's... You know what? I do have a hunt that I didn't have as part of the... Um, head to head. I can only keep the shiny if I get both at once. Oh my gosh. Uh, this format's uh, weird. Yes, it was different. So, uh, Phantom, are you seeing it as a traditional uh, widescreen format with a narrow uh, stream, or are you seeing it in the uh, normal, like, shorts mobile version? Audio from two games overlapping? Did the audio... Shouldn't be. I only have one... Uh, I only have one game audio coming through. I only have the top game audio coming through. Um... Yeah, anyway, I have one hunt that, uh... I don't have set up for... Uh, the head-to-head -head bout... Uh, since we're so early into the stream, 36 minutes into the stream, let me uh, let me see if we can set this up. Give me a second, guys. And thank you all for being here. Feels nice to freaking get a shiny I need. Give me one second. I can't see chat at the moment. Okay. All right, this should be good. Okay, I'm back. Uh, shorts. Okay, you're seeing the shorts mobile stream. Okay, that's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, the music from stream, the game music. That could be. That possibly could be. Uh, you know what? That's actually exactly the case. I forgot to turn off the music from the game and just leave the uh, leave the sound effects on. So let me take care of that right now. So Omastar wins the battle against Kabutops. Kabutops will be back in the loser's bracket. 
but I think uh, I think for the rest of the stream we're going to uh, we're gonna dual hunt. Whoops! Look at that! It ran right into a larvitar. I think we're going to dual hunt uh, another Pokemon that I need to get in a Premier Ball. And uh, for anyone that's uh, that's interested in how to set up a hunt like this, I'm going to show you right now. So let's uh, let's go to Slippery Slope. We'll see if there's one there. Question for anyone using OBS: Can you hear yourself while recording? If not, how do you fix it? You mean like coming out of like your like? Do you want to hear the audio from your computer? Um, I mean, if you want to, you just, uh, uh, set the settings to, uh, monitor and output. I'm not sure why you would want to, though. It would, it would distract me very much if I heard myself talking to myself with the delay. Uh, you got shiny float soul. Very nice. Congratulations, Mighty Munchkin. All right, looks like this is not the right weather. Yeah, this is not the right weather. So let's uh, change the date. You hear yourself talking with the delay, how you fix it? Okay, so Reese, what you wanna do is change it from monitor and output to just output. You do not want to monitor it. Sounds like your audio settings um, for the microphone are set to monitor. So I'm just going to run around here for a little bit until I can find the Pokemon I'm looking for. This is uh, this is all the fun of setting up a, uh, a hunt. Uh, this is what you all came to see, I know. But uh, I honestly was not expecting to get it, you know, 30 minutes into stream. This thing shines. Don't let me forget to uh, change the date when, uh, when the shiny pops up. There we go. All right. We're going to go for Dub Wool. All right. So here's what happens. So I encounter it, right? Oh, there's another Dub Wool right there, too. That's nice. So I'm going to encounter the Dub Wool. Uh, DM friend code. Uh, yeah, absolutely experiment. Feel free. Um, I will uh, try and, you know, we'll, we'll find out what happens after uh, after my stream's over. All right. So I want to get to right about there. So right about there is where it spawns. So I'm just going to leave him there for right now. Uh, the way I'm doing it right now only works if you have like two switches like this. If you don't have two switches um, uh, and you're just doing it on, you know, with one system, where where the top screen is right now, you would just like take a screenshot of that or something. Just make sure that you get some sort of a record of exactly where that spawn was. Because it's going to be very important that you remember exactly where it spawned. All right, so it's an it's a Amora on this day. So let's change the day. All right, and that was the twelfth. I'm not sure if this is gonna have the same weather, but we'll try it. Dorian, thank you very much. All right, it is. All right, so. Now I'm going to encounter it with uh, with the other game. It's on the default setting. You still hear yourself. So yeah, see see if there's some sort of setting that says something about monitor or output or monitor and output. You want to make sure that monitor is off. Oh, it's it's off. Interesting. Okay, so now on both games, I have encountered the double and I'm standing exactly where the double spawned. So 
I'm going to start with the top game. So now what I want to do is, before I do anything else, I want to go back into my settings and change the date. If, uh, if my lurker is still out there in bed, I know you were asking about this yesterday. So I'm just going to change this to like 4.11 right now. So it's now 4.11. And I, then I'm going to go to a... Uh, I'm going to go to a Dyn uh, Dynamax lair. There's a lot of doubles on this day. So I'm going to go down here. And uh, I'm going to throw in a wishing piece. Now I am offline. That's important. I go in. I hit invite others like I'm going to do a regular battle. While I'm in here, I go back out and I switch the day to the day that I know the double pops up, which is the 12th. Then I go back into the game and I quit. I'm also going to check that stinky double just because it's right there. Okay, not shine. So now I am back to the day where the double spawns, but I've already knocked out the double, so it's not going to be there when I go up to where it was. And I know exactly where it was because my other game is standing right there. So I'm going to meld with my other character. Now I'm going to save. And now I'm just going to reset the game. If I did this correctly, as soon as the game starts, the double should pop up and, and encounter me. And I did. So there's our first check. So. Now I gotta get the other one set up. And for the other one, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. I am going to quit this uh, battle though, so that my character shows up on the over or on the uh, you know in the overworld on the other game. So now I'm just gonna go down here. Gotta change the date to whoops, change the date to the day before. I know this is absolutely fascinating for everybody. I know you're loving every minute, minute of this. All right, so I'm going to change this to the 11th. I'm going to throw a wishing piece in. Obviously, if, if the den's already activated, you don't have to throw a wishing piece in, but the point is that you need to go to uh, an activated den. Um, I'm going to hit invite others. I'm going to change the date back to the 12th. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to merge with my other self. Gonna save. And if I did this correctly, when I reset the game, the double should pop right up. Which will now give me a chance to uh, update the overlay. It worked. So we've done our first two checks on double. So 
experiment. I got your uh, I got your DM. Thank you. Yeah. So after uh, after stream, I'll uh, go try that out and we'll see what happens. All right. Almost done with the setup here, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. So then all I got to do is just go into the auto counter. We're going to reset the counter and the increment is going to be two. And we've already done uh, two checks. So now uh, it's time to get back into it. Harley May, good morning. Hope you're doing well. We uh, we got the shiny Oma Star. So for the rest of this stream, we're just going to be dual hunting uh, the double, which is one that I do need in a premier ball. You got OBS to work. Game audio is a little quiet. You should be able to go into your audio settings and increase that if you want. Just increase the, the volume. GG's on the shiny. Thank you, Carly May. We're starting out shiny Sunday. Very nice. No, hold on. I'm gonna have to end the uh, end the hunt and uh, redo it because that should be four now. All right, browse pictures, screenshots. The fun of the auto counter. I tell you what, guys. Counter. Increment two, soft reset, start hunt. Okay, now it should work. Thanks for the help. Hey, no problem, buddy. Anytime. I always kick off shiny Sundays in the best way. Well, it's nice that for the first time in a long time, Carly, I'm able to actually kick off a shiny Sunday with a shiny. Two shinies, one stream. It's possible. I mean, we're dual hunting this one, and, you know, we're not even an hour into stream. There is an absolute possibility we get the shiny double today as well. Hopefully uh, you get your Delmize 1800 checks in. I hope you do, Carly. I'm actually going for Delmize now as well. I'm doing it in um, in Ultra Sun, but uh, you know what, Carly? As as much as I want my Delmize hunt to be really fast and I want it to end like today, I genuinely hope that you get it before I do. Congrats on the shiny. Thank you, Razzy. Yeah, I was, you know, I had a good feeling that we were going to get it today. I was even talking about that at the end of the stream yesterday. I had a good feeling about today, but I was not expecting to get it within the first half hour. You have your dumb eyes like that was your shortest hunt. How short was it, Reeves? Call rate of three, though. I know. I know. It is. But, you know, I'm, I went way over odds on Turtonator. I'm way over odds on Drampa. So even though it's a call rate of three, I feel like I'm due for a, uh, a short hunt. 124. Dang, that would be nice. I think we can get up to 500 checks easy on this today easily so we got the uh, we got the omanite on check two or oma star on check 295 which is pretty awesome i mean that was 590 total checks between the two shinies we were hunting but it was the 295th oma star god it's so much fun to dual hunt isn't it Hopefully not 500 miserable checks. I'll tell you what, I love these hunts so much. This is a breath of fresh air. 
Odds wise, it's, yeah, odds wise, it's the shortest, but with that call rate of three, that can be frustrating. 40 on Friend Safari, but that's uh, one in 512. I need to do some more Friend Safari hunts. Um, as soon as as soon as soon I get either the Delmize or the Drampa, I'm going to go back to Friend Safaris. Uh, I think there's probably about a dozen I still need to get. I need to get a Pumpkaboo, uh, Spiritomb, a Swirlix, a freaking Sunkern, a Maractus. What else? Tangela. The stinky thing, though, is um, even though I have friend safaris for all the Pokemon I need, there are no longer any safaris uh, that contain more than one Pokemon I need. So every safari I do is either going to be, if I don't have the third slot open, it's going to be a 50-50 chance that the shiny is going to be what I need. If I do have the third slot open, it's going to be a 33% chance it has the Pokemon I need. Mar yeah, Maractus is a grass safari third slot Pokemon. But, uh, you know, that's one of those, like, if I'm not able to get it in Friend Safaris, then, you know, I can totally just use a Harvest Pokemon on Route 6. James the Cat Boy, good to see you. Uh, Reeves, you cannot check what's in your Friend Safari. Uh, you need somebody else to let you know what's in it. You got Shelfa Roselia randomly yesterday. And then you did a random Snorlax check during stream. You got the Shelf Snorlax. Holy smokes, Razzy. That's amazing. Congratulations. Dude, that's awesome. You got that Shelf of Luck this weekend. Still hunting for Ghastly Haunter. You'll get it, buddy. I know you will. That's the real goal. I'm telling you, if they would have done the smart thing and added the uh, Polywag family into that game, this channel would be swimming in uh, Shelf of Polywhirls. That's, that's something I know for a fact. Alpha Polito, could you imagine? I guess I should update the uh, title, huh? I have a drought right now. No sign of Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Poplio. Dang, I'm sorry, experiment. How many uh, checks you have? Did I? You know what? I've never actually hatched a shiny Poplio in Gen 7. All my Poplios either came from Gen 8 or Gen 9. I have hatched a shiny Rowlet, and I've hatched a shiny Litten in Gen 7, but I never hatched a shiny Poplio. Oh, your, your brain read Poiple. 
How how many checks are you in on Poipo, Rousey? Have you been counting? You've never even seen a shiny Poplio? It's a pretty good shiny, Carly. I like it. Whip Ball would match the shiny star you the best. Premier Ball, obviously. Did you find one or are you just getting prepared? Not counting? I don't blame you. Oh, in your games. In your games. It probably looks similar to the one that I found in my game, Carly, if that helps. The recent hunt, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've, oh, 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 experiment. You're, you're actually doing the starter hunt, you're not doing the Masuda hunt, you're doing the starter hunt, not the subtle flex on this channel. Never, Carly. I would, I would never do a subtle flex on my channel. One moon ball. Ah, uh, moon ball would be pretty cool. I do like the moon ball. I mean, there's a lot of Pokeballs I like, but I just like... I, I, I feel like, you know, people are in one camp or the other, and I don't really think there's, like, a right or wrong, because I think it's all about opinions, and, you know, who am I judging anyone's opinion? I feel like there's, you know, one camp that once that that cares about the shinies being in matching balls and i think there's one camp that cares about all the shinies being in a uniform type of ball uh and i am i'm i'm definitely in that camp like i i would prefer to have all my pokemon in the same type of ball but there are certainly a lot of balls that i think uh are pretty awesome there are definitely definitely some beautiful balls out there right razzy get more moon balls but that's chromatic oh i wouldn't risk that oh uh, that's well i wouldn't I mean, you're right. You're right, Reese. There are there is the camp that doesn't care what ball they catch it in. I wouldn't say that would offend uh, that would offend Carly though, because Carly doesn't just throw quick balls just to catch them. Carly throws quick balls because she wants them in quick balls. So that's a little different. I like. I'm sure there's someone out there that tries to catch all their poke, all their shinies and repeat balls. I, I don't know why they would do that, but I'm sure there's someone out there. I mean, that's how I started off. I started off not caring what, you know, caring a little bit what ball it was. Like, if it was a water type, I'd want to catch it in a dive ball or a, or a net ball. Uh, if it was a ghost type or if it was in a cave, I'd use a, uh, uh, I'd use a dusk ball. But that's more about, like, increasing my catching odds, right? Um, you know, I had, like, all the legendaries and ultra balls. Um, but, uh, Use gas linus cheese. Quick balls don't exist. Razzy, stop doing that. You know gaslighting isn't a thing. Try stop stop trying to make a nonsense argument. Stop trying to turn this around on me. But I mean, like, that's what I'm doing right now is all these rehunts because, like, for the first almost year of, uh, of shiny hunting, I just I just caught it in whatever ball I thought would give me the best chance to catch it. Um, so there's a there's there was quite a lot of shinies I had that weren't in premier balls, and I I I actually have to blame Carly, May, and Razzie for this. Um, 
Hellas, what's going on? Good to see you. I was totally fine with just catching all my shinies and premier balls moving forward. But then Carly Mae and Razzie started really focusing on catching their uh, their shinies in quick balls and luxury balls, uh, respectively. And the more they talked about it, the more I watched them do it, I was like, gosh dang it, I do want to have everything in a premier ball. So then I started going back and hunting things I had already hunted. And that's where I'm at now. You need to play Animal Crossing today. Do it. You're going to send me a gas bill, cheese? Nice. You're going to do that later? Sounds good. Well, I appreciate you being here for now. I appreciate everyone being here right now. Thank you guys for keeping me company. Do I have New Horizons? I don't, Alice. Um, I actually... I did pick up the, the first Animal Crossing for the GameCube when that came out because I know everyone was talking about it. And I played it for a little bit, but I had just gotten out of college. I just entered the real world. And I'm firing up this video game that's supposed to be like a distraction from my life. That's supposed to be entertaining. And the whole game is about how uh, this guy Tom Nook gave me a loan and I have to do jobs for him to pay back the debt I have. And that just hit a little too close to home, being a, uh, a, a, a brand new college graduate, uh, working a job, making not a lot of money and trying to pay off student loans and everything. So I was like, you know what? This game just makes me a little sad. Uh, and then I didn't play Animal Crossing again until last year when I finally picked up uh, Animal Crossing for the Switch. Uh, what is uh, Marowak, Cubon, and the Alolan form special move called? Um, you mean Bone Bone Meringue? Well, bo Bone Meringue is like the Kanto special move. Um, Shadow Bone is the Alolan. Exactly. I didn't need any more bills. Oh, uh, well, I appreciate that, Alice. That's that's very nice of you. But yeah, I don't have it. I think Bone Rush is another one, too. How is it spelled? Shadow Bone? How is Shadow Bone spelled? Bone meringue, yeah. Oh, oh, bone meringue. Bone meringue is like this. Am I just helping out or am I settling an argument? Because if I'm settling an argument, I don't like to be surprised like that. Uh, you can see the, uh, how that's it. Uh, you thought he was saying bound morang, bound morang. Someone named Rang. Respectfully, no thank you. All those poor Rangs out there start playing Pokemon. They're like, what the heck is happening? Aerie would find that funny. First Animal Crossing came out 20 years ago. Imagine the late payment fee Tom Nook would charge it. Oh my gosh, you know what? That's, that's a fair point, Lobo. I haven't touched the original Animal Crossing in so many freaking years. I can't imagine how much interest is built up on that loan he gave me. I just think it was called Bone Brush for some reason. Uh, voice actress for uh, Nalian pronounced it, uh, sound like that in Gen 4. Oh, really, Alice? She had Lucario, and it sounded like she said Bone Brush. I guess I could see that. Yeah, that would have to be a pretty specific uh, pronunciation to get it across correctly. Bone 
Brush. If you try and blur the two words together, it probably would sound weird. Bone brush. So I'm going to have to get a new thumbnail made for the next stream, for the next matchup. The next head-to-head -head bout. I'm going to do such a YouTuber thing right now. I'm going to do such a cringy YouTuber thing right now. If we can get... 25 likes on the stream. I will tell you guys what the next head to head bout's gonna be. I think it's Dub Wool. No, we're just gonna use Dub Wool as our like interim. Like like our between our between hunt, between bout uh uh shiny hunt. Peaked my interest, earned my like, my leak. Nice. Yeah, I want to do a series of these. Like, admittedly, there's only a handful of head-to-head -head bouts that I need in Premier Balls. But if people are enjoying these uh, as much as I am, I got no problem re-hunting things I already have. That would be good head-to-head -head bouts, like Amora versus uh, Tyrant or Aurorus versus uh, Tyrantrum, for example. Uh, because I think they're fun, and, you know, there's always the chance of getting one with, uh, better stats, or maybe a mark, so. Double's the cooler matchup. Remember when a lucky absolutely said, we are not, look, Razzy, you're absolutely right, and I, you could, you could say that that was the first head-to-head -head matchup, so there's no reason to redo it. Tyler Shanks, good to see you, buddy. I'm glad you're doing well. She was talented, but she needs to slow down her pronunciations. You should let her know, Alice. I mean, that's fair. I think if you're going to be a voice actor, you need to make sure you have very good pronunciation. Double versus double is your favorite matchup. Double, double. Absolutely no reason to redo it. Absolutely no reason. I mean, I think I think that'd be a great matchup, uh, a great belt, a great head-to-head, -head, you know, knock down, drag him out, fight for your channel, Razzy. You think double wins matchup? I think you might be right, Reeves. It might be double. I don't know though. Double is looking pretty good too. You know what? Let's go ahead and put up a poll. Hey, that button changed. Interesting. Oh, wait, did they take away? Ooh, they took away Ask Me Anything. Uh, to my fellow streamers in the chat, remember how uh, there was an option to, like, you know, people could just ask you, uh, ask you anonymous questions or ask you private questions? It's gone. The only thing there now is the poll option. It was there yesterday. You want to so bad, you have no problems with the one capture card. Razzy, I still owe you, like, everything for, uh, what you did for me. Pseudo versus pseudo would be a good head-to-head? -head. It would be. Wow, right out the gate, 43% saying ha 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 ha. Appreciate that, guys.
Alright, we're at 23 likes right now. Thank you guys so much for the likes. Almost at encounter 100 for Star You, you got this, Reeves. It's gonna be an early hunt. I can feel it. 300 for Cresselia. Oh, I'm sorry to break it to you. Cresselia is gonna go over odds. was not shiny oleg studios what's up double is amazing it is it is i, I am actually this is one of those hunts i don't mind having to re-hunt for a premiere ball because i do love the wulu and double shinies 173 for your decks at level 10 let's go amber you're already making good progress today you're one of the two people that chose bottom think uh you and the other person uh i'm um, never mind now tops winning i um i gotta be honest it wasn't until that that i realized anyone uh coming into the stream and just immediately seeing that whole just kind of question what type of stream this is. Uh, Switch is dying, so you gotta work on these dishes and onions. You pick both will shine at the same time. Love the legend they put in for the Ultra Sun Ultra Moon legends. I do too. I do too. Um, Ultra Sun Ultra Moon is one of the few games I've played multiple times with the sound on. And, oh my gosh, the, all the music in there is incredible. But I love the fact that for, I, I don't know if it's all the Legends, or it's the vast majority of them, they use the original music from the game they came from, the original Legendary music uh, from where they first appeared, which is just incredible. And then you have uh, Scarlet and Violet that, uh, for the gym battles, use the exact same gym leader music as Sword and Shield, which... I love that music. I think that's definitely uh, a bop, as the kids call it. Uh, but that did feel a little bit lazy. They just use the exact same uh, music. Congrats on German Grandmother Star. Thank you, Shinies. 295 checks. Not too shabby. 590 total checks between the two. So Kaboo Tops is going to take on another loser in the loser's bracket down the road. Uh, and we're just going to work on this double in the meantime for the rest of the stream because uh, I was not expecting uh, to get a shiny within the first half hour of the stream. So, uh, Mr. Shinies, I will be talking to you later on uh, today. We will, when I say we, I mean you, uh, in your infinite generosity, uh, we'll need to make a new thumbnail for the next stream. 23 likes. If we get two more likes, I'll even tell you what the next head-to-head -head matchup battle will be. Ah, uh, you're a one rubber band type of guy, Reeves. Nice, nice. I am too. I, I like doing the one rubber band for that. It's more efficient. 50% saying ha 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 ha. If this stream gets one like, uh, we egg Hefty's house. What? I didn't agree to that. I mean, I guess if, if you put it in the chat like that, McTelligence, I guess that means it has to happen. So I'm going to need to let you guys know where I live. So you can egg my house. I live at 123 uh, Carly May Crossing. So uh, that's the house that you should uh, you should egg. Yeah, I agree, Reeves. One is better than two.
Rocky Mom, what's going on? Good to see you. Hefty Mom, we got uh, we got the shiny. Um, and so uh, now we're gonna go for the sheep. It says I live on Razzy Road. Uh oh, I've been I've been ousted. Did I move? <laughs> yeah, I moved. I moved. I moved to Carly Mae Crossing. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the congratulations, Mom. Yeah, we got the. Uh, we got the. What do we decide it was? Like a cephalopod. We got the cephalopod that was blue, that uh, turned pink when it was shiny. We got it about half an hour into the stream. Yep, Oma Star. Exactly. If you guys don't mind, I just want to show my mom the shiny real quick. Uh, I think it's been so long since uh, she's seen me get a shiny that she forgets uh, what they are or look like. An octopus? You think so? Whoops, I closed the wrong one. I have the controllers in the wrong hand. Flex on her. No, I just I just want to prove to her that I am actually accomplishing something on YouTube uh, and not just wasting my uh, my mornings. Every morning when I talk to her, she says, did, did you get a shiny yesterday? And I have to say no. And she just says, oh. Oh, your colorblindness uh, can't uh, help you see the difference. Oh, exactly. That's what she says. And she says, well, I hope I hope you get one next stream, dear. All right. So, uh, you know what? I It might be better just to show her in the Pokedex. Uh, here we go. So, uh, so hefty mom on the uh, on the bottom screen, you can see um, the little cephalopod guy that's blue, and then when uh, when it's shiny, it looks like that. And that's the one we got. So now it's like a pinkish purplish color. I think so too. You can see a difference. Okay, uh, Hefty Mom, can I uh, can I tell them what's going to be happening here in a few weeks? Slept nine hours, uh, twelve minutes, sleep score of hundred. Good job, JJ. Sure. So, as uh, has become tradition over the past several years, Hefty Mom is going to come up and visit me for Mother's Day. Hey, Sito, good to see you. Uh, Hefty Mom's going to come up and visit for Mother's Day. She's going to stay here for about a week. And when we were talking about the other day, and she said, well, what should we do? What, what should we do while I'm up there? And I said, well, you know, I'm going to be working during the day, but, you know, whatever you want to do uh, after work or on the weekends, uh, we can do that. And she's like, well, I got to play Let's Go Pikachu. So, uh, the Let's Go Pikachu series with Hefty Mom will be continuing uh, in just a few weeks. I think she's not going to give up until she finds her first shiny. Because she, she was all about trying to find a shiny at Christmas. She was, she was a little disappointed after that stream at Christmas. She was a little disappointed that she didn't find a shiny. I'll sleep at 1 a.m. and I woke up at 8 a.m. 
Ah, seven hours, not bad. I fell asleep last night probably around 10.30, quarter to 11, and uh, got up when the alarm went off at 5.45. Pokemon Sleep records better than your smartwatches. So, JJ, when you say it records better, do you mean it's more accurate or you just like the results more? You can give her one of uh, your shinies. Well, that's a really nice offer. Oh, it's, you think uh, Pokemon Sleep's more accurate? Okay. Third time's the charm. That's right, Hefty Mom. I think we're about to go... I can't remember where we left off. Did we... Did we beat Misty? I'm not even sure if we got that far. Did we get through Mount Moon? I can't remember. Epic Hefty Mom Let's Go playthrough over the course of five years. Uh, just got through Mount Moon. Could be wrong. No, I think I think you might be right, Razzy. That would make sense because no, I was kind of talking out loud, Hefty Mom. I wasn't expecting you to remember because I would. I don't really remember it, but I would imagine that Mount Moon was probably a bit of a struggle just because of the labyrinth type layout. Yeah, so I think I think that's right. I think I think we got through Mount Moon. So then the next thing is going to be um, Nugget Bridge, visiting Bill, and uh, uh, Cerulean City Gym. So anyone else got any fun plans for today? Anyone else doing something on this uh, shiny Sunday? Not really? Flea market and BFF dinner. Oh, that's right. You got the dinner. That's awesome, cheese. Hope you get some good finds at the flea market, too. Yeah, Storms, we got the Omastar. 295 checks. Not too shabby. Caught a Sudowoodo, a Geodude, and a Spiel. Very cool, JJ. Sudowoodo is your price. All right, I'm seeing 24 likes on the uh, on the stream. We're just one like. Oh, the prize, gotcha. We're just one like away from uh, me letting you guys know what the next head-to-head -head bounce is going to be. Anchor, and that's about it. That's a good plan, though, Carly. And I'm sure you're going to get it today. Where's Fernando? You need to know what he had for breakfast. I know, right? I'm sure it was something delicious. Oh, the pickup for the games. Okay, gotcha, cheese. Gotcha. Oh, so cheese. I was um, talking to Ken the other day, and I was um... actually. I'm just gonna read you the text I sent him because I I thought it was just perfect. Uh, 
after I got that package uh, from you the other day. Um, so I, I showed him a picture of everything that was in the, the package, and I said, I did buy white two off of him. He threw in the reproduction cases because he loves me. And because he knows me so well and hates me, I now have to go out and find the reproduction cases for gold in the Hoenn games. Um, just because you know how much of a collector I am and how I can't have an incomplete collection. So I did end up buying the gold and the um, uh, ruby sapphire emerald uh, reproduction cases the other day. Hopefully they'll uh, arrive here in the next couple weeks. Got to go. All right, Rees, thank you so much for being here. Hope you have a great rest of your day. What did he say? He said LOL. It was, uh, you know, very uh, meaningful. Look at this. We're already at 130 checks on the, uh, about to be 132 checks on the double. I love, I love these hunts. Thank you to the 19 people hanging out here. And thank you for the 24 likes. And thank, I don't know if they're out there, uh, but when I fired up uh, the computer today to get ready for stream, I did see that uh, we got one more sub since uh, streaming yesterday. So whoever the new subscriber is, thank you. Only four away from hitting 1600 again. my gosh we got 25 likes on my end i guess that means i gotta tell you guys what the next head-to-head -head bout is going to be the uh the next stream that we'll be doing with these uh strong spawn soft reset hunts is going to be uh head-to-head -head gen 5 battle two pokemon that uh aren't really thought of that much but uh, we're very much uh, related to each other. Uh, we're going to be doing a soft reset head-to-head -head battle between Carablast and Shelmet. I need both of them in Premier Balls. Because I, I originally got them by hatching and the parent didn't have a Premier Ball. So we're going to be doing Carablast and Shelmet. You were number 25. Thank you, Hefty Mom. I appreciate you waiting half an hour to like your son's stream. I'm just teasing you. Thank you very much, Hefty Mom. I know uh, with this format, if you guys are seeing it in the shorts mobile format, it is a little more difficult to like the stream. If, uh, if you haven't liked the stream and you don't know how to, in the top right corner of the screen, there should be three dots. If you click on that, it'll bring up all the standard stuff. The like, dislike button, the description, the live chat options, yada, yada, yada. Oh, Grimace the Menace, that's right. And I'm, uh, I'm, uh, the Mr. Wilson in this scenario.
All right, here we go. It checks 143 and 144. You had to find the like. I don't blame you. They, they make it difficult, don't they, Mom? They make it harder and harder to find the like button. This is such a cool Pokemon. I think I think Wooloo and Double are probably. Let me think about this. Yeah, I think uh, Wooloo and Double are my favorite uh, Route One normal Pokemon of all the gens. Now you know about the three dots. See, you learned something new today, Mom. What about everybody else? What's your favorite Route 1 normal Pokemon? We got Radita, Raticate. We got Centric Furret. We got Zigzagoon, Lanoon. We got Bidoof, Babarel. Uh, we got Patrat, Watchog. We got... Uh, what is the Gen 6? I always forget the Gen 6 one. What is the Gen 6 one? Gen 7, we got uh, Young Goose Gumshoes. Gen 8, we got Wooloo Double. Gen 9, we got uh, uh, Lechonk and uh, Link Alone. What is the Gen 6 one? Gosh, Gen 6 was so stripped down. Only 72 total new Pokemon in Gen 6. Uh, uh, P P Dove was well. P Dove was the was the Gen Five bird. Yeah, not really traditional. They, they skipped a bunch of stuff, and like you know, there were no legendaries other than the uh, other than the Xerneas Evoltal um, uh, Zygarde. Hold on, I gotta I gotta look at the Pokedex. I guess it'd be Bumblebee and Diggersby, even though they're uh, even though Diggersby is um, part. Well, yeah, it would still work. Part ground. I mean, Babero was part water. So yeah, it, it would be um, Diggers being Bumblebee. Froki, good morning. Good morning, Froki. I guess it could be Pyroar. In my in my mind though, in my head mind, I'm gonna say Diggers B. Uh, Bumblebee and Diggers B was the Gen Six early uh, root normal. How you doing, day Froki? I'm good. Thank you, Alice. You're good, too. But yeah, anyway, I think I think Wooloo and Double is my favorite early root normal Pokemon. Even though I know uh, Bidoof is uh, unnaturally popular on the internet. We lose your favorite too, Carly. This is why we're friends. This is this is why we get along so well. It's the only reason. I also like the way you say woo woo. With your um, speaking voice. Wooloo. 
That's my Carly Mae impression. Wulu. Wulu keeps us strong. That's right. I'm still stoked that we got the shiny Oma star today. That's pretty awesome. Wulu is strong. That's right, Mighty Munchkin. Matching Wulu tattoos one. I gotta get. I gotta get permission from my mom, Carly, to get a tattoo. Why didn't they put them in Gen 9? Good question, Mighty Munchkin. They should have. Yeah, Carly, we'll get matching Wulu tattoos if my mom says it's okay. It looks like it's finally going to be a sunny day here for the first time in like, I don't know, a year. She doesn't know about your thug life tattoo on my back. Razzy, shush. That's supposed to be a secret. <clears throat> You're going to get one too, Mighty Munchkin? Ah, uh, see, Hefty Mom says no way. You tried buttering her up, Carly. Carly, maybe we can get one of them henna tattoos. The ones only last for a couple weeks. Rolanda and Max, what's going on? Good to see you. Welcome to the herding show with Hefty 517. That's right. Just herding sheep out here. It was worth a shot, Carly. You tried your best. I mean, you failed. Good compromise. All right, we'll go out and get henna tattoos. We'll bring uh, we'll bring Mighty Munchkin with us. The three of us will get matching henna tattoos. All right, temporary is okay, says Mom. I'm doing well, Rolanda. How you doing? Thank you to the twenty of you hanging out here right now. I appreciate that. Tyler, thank you for the lurks. Nice chill song. I like this. No shiny on check 173 and 174. So what do you guys think? You think we're going to get this under 500 checks or over 500 checks? Give me an over under on 500. Just as a reminder, the odds are 1 in 1365. Mighty Munchkin says under... Carly says over 500, but under odds. Okay. Razzie says over. On YouTube shorts. That's right, Rolanda. Got you on the big screen and sipping my coffee with my pinky in the air. Froki just living his best life. 
his best little froggy life. Good to see you, Froki. Hi, Kabutops didn't shine. How much was the encounters? And uh, that will determine over under. Okay, so time history. Good questions. Uh, and that uh, can possibly uh, place a bearing. I mean, each each hunt, each check is, you know, in and of itself. But statistically, uh, we can look at possible trends. That's a very good, uh, very good point. So we did 295 checks on both the Kabutops and the Omastar. The Omastar is shown, shined, shinned at check 295 uh which is very under odds uh, but it was a total of 590 total checks between the two so you can say that in 590 checks we got a shiny pokemon which was about what about 55 percent of odds 55 60 percent of odds um no what am i talking about 40 percent between 35 40 percent of odds 35 40 percent of odds we got the uh uh we got the shiny uh, uh omastar we've done 182 checks so far on the uh the double so based off of that and that knowledge will we get the shiny double in under 500 checks or over 500 checks and if it's over 500 checks will it be under the odds of 1365 or over the odds of 1365 your internet's down right now Dang. All those numbers I know Carly tuned up mentally. That's basically what I do if um, I want to say, like, if I were to tell you about uh, all the uh, surprises, Razzie, that you and I were planning for Carly's birthday, what I would do is I would start talking about uh, statistics and probabilities for the first 30 seconds, then have a conversation with you about uh, the birthday cake and the uh, the entertainment and the, the special guest that we have flying in to visit. Uh, and then I would go back into talking about probabilities, uh, like the fact that uh, these hunts are not affected by, uh, like there's no chance of the um, the stinky, uh, stinky uh, uh, brilliant aura uh, Pokemon showing up. So this will always be a 1 in 1365 hunt. There's no chance of it being a 1 in 512. Uh, it will always be a 113.65. Uh, however, we're dual hunting this. So the odds for us, approximately not exactly, would get down to uh, 683 total uh, resets uh, in order to uh, hit odds. Um, yeah. So there's, there's about a 63% chance that we'll get this before I reset the uh, switches 683 times. Um, you gonna steal uh, all Froakies and turn them shiny so they can give them to Froakie? Oh, that's nice of you, Mighty Munchkin. You actually dozed off for a second. Good, good, good. That's what I expected. So 295 resets, so over odds, because the calculator is not mistaken, the odds are determined by your last hunt, which you'll say was over odds. Uh, you have the next one under odds, so you over odds. All right, that's fair time, mister. I think you're probably right. I think you're probably right. I think, uh, unfortunately, this dub will is probably going to go over 1365, uh, which would be 683 total uh, iterations of resetting the systems. But I don't think it's going to be too far over that. And since we are dual hunting, then we will be able to get to odds, you know, I don't want to say quick, but uh, quicker than if we were single hunting this. Ariana, there you are. Can't Oh, no, Carly Heard. Carly heard you lost me. That's okay. You have to get you, Mom. Uh, I lost myself as well. I lost the plot. Good morning, Ariana. How are you? We got the uh, Omastar on check 295. About half an hour into stream. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten million Frokies in the nation. That's right. 
going to be Razzie giving you a shout out, isn't it? Oh, no. You guessed. You guessed the surprise. Maddie, what's going on? Good to see you. Razzie and I are also working very hard and putting a lot of effort into uh, making a banner that says uh, in uh, in uh, Courier New, in all caps, it is your birthday. And uh, we're going to be hanging that up uh, with brown balloons. Uh, doing well, actually got up on time, got almost nine hours of sleep. My goodness gracious. You might be washing your hair on your birthday. You know what, Carly? Honestly, I hope you do wash your hair on your birthday. Come on, you got to look your best. I didn't realize that was an option. No, today's not Carly's birthday. She just uh, likes people to treat her like it is every day. I don't know why I'm being mean. I love you, Carly. I don't know why I'm picking on you today. I apologize. You know I love you. You know that's Razzy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That, that is true, though. That's true. That's because every day is Razzy's birthday. Mom treats the entire month of August as her birthday. It's such a Leo thing to do. Oh, Leo. Must be something about your face. Probably. So almost due for one like two weeks. Can you believe it? Two weeks, five days. Two weeks, five days. 19 days until the magical day. The day in which we celebrate the anniversary of one of the greatest people ever being born. Kieran. And Keith, good to see you, bud. Congrats again. Hope you had a fun time last night. I was lurking for a little bit before I fell asleep. You know someone who's uh, named Ariana, whose birthday is May 1st? That is insane. the amazing people in chat right now. This is fantastic. Pop is winning with 39% of the vote. Your Papa's birthday is May 5th? No way, Maddie. Cinco de Mayo. I have a uh, a very good friend. Uh, him and his wife. Their anniversary is May fifth. Cinco de Mayo, which is nice as a friend uh, that uh, typically forgets about anniversaries. Uh, it makes it very easy for me to remember. So I, I appreciate that they got married on Cinco de Mayo solely to make it easy for me to remember their anniversary. Um, Froakie, if I'm glue, you're rubber. Isn't that how it goes? Oh, 
you saw a write on Pokemon Sleep, understand how it works now. It's an app to encourage good sleep behaviors and track your sleep through the microphone and accelerometer. It's surprisingly accurate. Uh, okay. May the fourth be with you. You're a furry? I did not know that, Rolando. Your cousin's birthday is May 4th? Whoa. Better hardware get uh, gives better results? Usually, that's usually the case. Yeah, JJ. So, Ari, you need to find an Ariana with three ends born on the third. Clipped and sent to Kieran. Thank you, Razzy. I appreciate that. Be uh, Petter Pizza. Petter Pizza, Papa John's. You worked your butt off to clip a short. Razzy, I appreciate all the work you put into that. You are the true hero. Real American hero. You already have a Carly. You just need to rename Carly Ariana with three N's. Petter, I hardly know what to do when there's dogs around. I want to pet them all. I, I hear that cheese. I'm with you. How do you even clip a short stream? Where's the clip button? You weren't supposed to work until 2, but the other guy called in, so it's you now. Ah, Not even supposed to be here today. Yeah, JJ, I'm happy you're enjoying your new phone, bud. <laughs> I assure you we're open. Why do you smell like shoe polish? That's okay. I like money. Me too. I like money. I should get some more of it. I like Hefty. I like Keith. I like Keith with his big old 500 plus subs and his big old celebration last night. Playing the games with the friends. I did the same thing, Ari. I crawled into bed and put on Keith's stream and fell asleep listening to his dulcet tones. All right, sounds good, Rolanda. You just keyboard and mouse. Dang, keyboard and mouse. So you went straight to the desktop and did it the old-fashioned way. You loved her lasagna. See, did you ever see Clerks 3? I didn't. I know it had a very limited release, and then... Like, a day after it came out, and limited release, I never heard anything about it ever again. And never thought about it again until just now. Uh, B? B10 to B? What's up, Trico? Trico? 
Like, I don't even know where to watch that. I don't know how to get access to that movie. I mean, I definitely enjoyed the first Clerks more than the second, but there were definitely some parts of the second uh, Clerks that I really liked. Uh, I thought the whole um, the whole debate over which trilogy is the trilogy was really good. It's on HBO? Okay. Oh, Sheep Sounds. Gotcha. It's Keith Strong Enough is Airy? No, no, Rolanda. Those are two separate people. Hurry, seven. Does that include me? 38? There's only one, uh, there's only one return and it's of the Jedi. Jeez, you know how I like to really upset a lot of people all at once? You know what I love doing to just annoy and tick off everyone around me? I start talking about how much I love the trilogy, and the trilogy is like the best story ever. And it doesn't matter if I'm surrounded by people that love Star Wars or people that love uh, uh, Lord of the Rings. They'll be like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's great, isn't it? I'm like, I know, it's fantastic. What, you know, the best cinematic trilogy of all history. The, uh, the characters, the journeys they went on and everything. And I'm just, I'm really sad that, you know, at the end of the final movie, um, Marty had to destroy the DeLorean, but the, the, but the fact that you know Doc Brown came back in the uh, in the train gives me hope uh, that they're they're you know enjoying their lives today, uh, because obviously the trilogy is Back to the Future. Remember your mom and your sister's father watching Clerks together and thought it was so dumb because you didn't get it. I remember watching Clerks summer of '94 with my uncle Joe. Uh, who uh, who ran a video store and I felt like I felt so cool because that was definitely a movie that um, I don't know if Hefty Mom's still here but I mean come on it's been like 30 years uh, that was definitely a movie that my parents would not have allowed me to watch if they knew and I just felt like I was such an adult watching uh, watching Clerks with my uncle So many, uh, so many, so many stories uh, and quotes and dialogue out of that movie that I had a basic idea of what they were talking about. But a few years later, looking back, like, oh my gosh, that was that was definitely an R-rated movie. I must tell Cam to fix his character's clothes and hairstyles. You can tell him that, Trico. My uh, my parents never had a problem with me watching like uh, horror or violence, Ari. But uh, if there was like language or adult situations, that was questionable. But like, I was probably I don't know, 11, 12 years old, watching all the um, Friday the Thirteenth, the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and stuff like that. They never had an issue with that. Villy, good morning. I hope you're doing well. You're gonna be lurking while playing Minecraft? Sounds good, Tyler. Have fun. <laughs> Jeez, I, like, I have so many quotes running around my head right now, and I can't say a single one of them. You got sick and watched uh, both clerks, small rats, and chasing Amy in succession. Nice. Chase and Amy, I really enjoyed. Um, Mall Ma Rats was fun too, and Mall Rats had a fan. I mean, all of them had fantastic soundtracks, but I think Mall Rats was probably the best soundtrack out of the series. You were six or seven watching Oz uh, with her and her father, uh, your sister's father, for example. Yeah, I definitely. I mean, I I definitely saw some things when I shouldn't have, but Oz at six or seven is pretty extreme. I started watching Oz at twenty two, and I think I was too young for that show. You just watched Mall Rats the other day.
Uh, I did actually. I did know that Keith. Yeah, Jason Lee is a professional skateboarder. He, that that crew, that View Askew Universe crew from back in the '90s. What a wild bunch of, of people. It's interesting to see where some of them went afterwards and where some of them, uh, we'll say, did not go afterwards. You know what also makes Marrats a fantastic movie, amongst other things, is. One could argue it is the uh, the birth of the uh, the Stan Lee cameo. That scene was just fantastic with Stan Lee. Holly, what's going on? Good to see you. Oh my gosh, Trico, that stinks. 5206. So that's over over four times odds. Dang. Chinese. I'm not even going to read that. Oh, okay. Neat, JJ. You got to sing it like in sync. Well, I, I'm not going to. I think you're confusing this channel with your own. Why don't you, uh, if, if you really want to hear, hear that song, uh, why don't you put that in a uh, super chat and we'll let the, uh, we'll let, we'll let uh, Brian read it. LLTB. Uh, Nicholas, would you have time this week to do another uh, thumbnail for Carablast and Shelmet? If not, that's cool. I'll just take the uh, Carablast and Shelmet uh, 3D models and slap them over the Omastar and Kabutops. Hybrid Pokemon coming soon. What? Thank you for the five Canadian dollars, Shinies. Oh, crap. I just remembered. I don't have uh, text-to-speech. Um, and there's no, uh, there's no message anyway to read. Oh, well. Hold on, chat. Um, that was I, I, I'm I'm sending him back the money, but that was totally worth it. That that made me that tickled me in a way that I have not been tickled in a long time. I love sandwiches. Usually have to pay for that kind of tickling. Keith flexing the 11 months of membership. Hashtag tickle hefty. I don't like that hashtag. It's coming right back. We're just going to send money back and forth to each other until PayPal has to take such a percentage to decrease to zero. No, let's not do that because um, I was being nice and sending you back the entire $5. Uh, directly to your PayPal account, and you know that YouTube is keeping uh, forty-five percent of that uh, of that five dollars you sent me. So it actually cost me like two twenty-five to send you that five bucks back. If we keep doing this, you're gonna bankrupt me. Yeah, let's get some uh, hi uh, hype in the chat for Keith. Infinite money glitch, but only works for YouTube. Exactly. Yes. 
So speaking of uh, money and YouTube and everything, I realized after I get my taxes done this year, uh, I need to do something different. Um, my my uh, my accountant uh, gave me some advice. So apparently, and I didn't think about this when I got uh, the monetization set up, but apparently, you know, the the taxes that YouTube keeps, um, uh, or withholds, I should say, the tax that uh, YouTube withholds is for federal income tax. Doesn't take into account uh, state. So I basically broke even on my federal uh, this year. I ended up getting a refund at $21, but I owed like 350 bucks back to the state. So my, uh, my account is recommending that I set up uh, where I like pay in uh, taxes like quarterly, which is just a pain in the butt. I don't want to do that. Did I get audited? No, I didn't get audited. That's just my, that was just my, uh, uh, my tax, uh, return. So like all the money that I made on YouTube last year, um, which all was, you know, reported on my tax return. Uh, there was, there was no state income tax withheld. So I had to pay the state the income tax for the YouTube uh, money. You don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I, I don't want to call anyone out, uh, but if there's any, if there's any US based streamers in the chat, that last year was their first year of um, monetization and you got your taxes done uh, and, and something different happened for you. If you want to let me know, I'd appreciate that. Like maybe there's something I'm missing so that I don't end up having to owe the state taxes on my YouTube money. They're trying to fit in. Ah, yes, taxes, taxes. Gonna try to keep all uh, that money separate until taxes might even make a new checking account just for YouTube transactions. Okay. <laughs> taxes, I'm consuming nutrition, my favorite pastimes. I am a normal human being. Um, I mean, it doesn't like really bother me. Well, I, sh I can't say that. It's a little annoying that I have to pay that much back uh, for state. Um, but I was really nervous with this being the first year. I was really nervous what, um, uh, you know, how the tax return was going to end up. And the fact that, you know, the federal basically balanced out. I'm like, okay, thank God. That's, that's not bad. Taxes, the Lone Star State. Oh, yikes, Razzie. I'm sorry, bud. That's not a bad idea, Keith. That's not a bad idea at all. That's Texas. I'm talking about the thing I send messages in. Yeah, the, the Texas. I sent you a Texas. Razzy, did you get audited? Aerie's not going to to quit until she finds someone that got audited. Aerie's on a mission. She needs to find someone who got audited. You smell like candy. Leave me alone. I'm bushed. Gotta go. Good luck on the hunt. Talk to you later. All right, Carly. Good luck on your hunt as well. Hope you get the dumb eyes. You deserve it.
Harry, basically, if the IRS looks at your taxes and says, hey, wait a second, this looks kind of weird, then you can get audited. It, it's like it's like a boring business grown-up version of uh, of showing your work, checking your work. They they look at the they look at your paperwork and they're like, wait a second, this seems a little weird. Has anyone ever been audited? I mean, I don't know if anyone in this chat has. Certainly within the world. The tax audit is just to verify that you have, in fact, the assets and liabilities you say you have. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Ari, Ari. I'm sorry. I apologize, Ari. You absolutely did say here. It was just covered by the uh, by the heart. I'm sorry. That was that was on me. You've been audited in your heart. Aw. Yeah, business owners are more likely to be audited <clears throat> because of um, just the nature of how businesses make money. Keep your receipts. Most people do throw those away. Yeah, business owners don't. Re regular, regular, normal people do, usually. But, Ari, it's not like every receipt. It's not like if you go to Starbucks and you buy a cup of coffee, you need to keep that receipt. It's it's more like for anything that you claim. If you if you claim on your taxes, like, well, I spent, you know, I spent two grand on a new computer for my business, so I I should have that two grand for the computer deducted because it was a business expense, then you should keep the uh, the receipt for that computer so you can prove that you did purchase it for two grand. It's, it's basically just for things that you're going to claim, right? Like, yeah, if I go out and buy a burger from McDonald's, there's no reason for me to, to, to keep that receipt. But if I'm going to tell the IRS, you should decrease the amount of income that should be taxed because I spent money on this, then you need to keep the receipt for that. Yeah, seven years is the uh, is the traditional rule of thumb. So, like some some people, like some content creators, some YouTubers, some streamers. Like, whenever they buy a new computer, whether they buy a new Switch, or they buy a new game, uh, they can technically claim that on their taxes and say, you know, for my job as a streamer, I purchased these items. Uh, and so, you know, they mark it down in their deductions that all the money that they spent on stuff for the channel should not be taxable, but they should keep those receipts. So, like, if I were to claim all that stuff, um, the Princess Peach Showtime, uh, I would have kept a digital receipt of purchasing that game so that I can claim it later. But for someone that's not a streamer or whatever, there'd be no reason to keep the receipt for that game because there's nothing for you to claim on your taxes. All right, have a good breakfast, Cheesy.
Yeah, and then like what Shiny is saying about writing off the McDonald's lunch, technically you can do that. I think that's where ethics comes in. Like, even if I owned a business and I ate at McDonald's every day, uh, I wouldn't claim that unless those are actual business lunches. I mean, I could, but I personally just wouldn't. Joe, oh my goodness gracious, good to see you, buddy. How are you? How you been? Work's been super hectic because of tax season. Funny you mentioned that. It's actually just what we were talking about. Uh, when I was in high school, I uh, bought a car for my parents to use in their business. All the gas went through the business as a write-off and helped your tax uh, situation at the end of the year. Nice. Thank you to the gifter. I can't remember who that was, CeeLo, but thank you for the six months. What if you're not a business owner, but you spend $15 a day on McDonald's lunch only because you're working, whereas you'd make your own lunch at home instead of going out? I don't know the legalities of that, Ari, but like I think an argument could very well be made that since, uh, since you are going to the office, then the onus is on you. You have the opportunity to bring lunch with you. Like, no one is forcing you to go out to eat every day for lunch? Uh, you were in bed for 9 hours, 12 minutes, but you slept for 8 hours, 7 minutes? Okay. You've been facing down 1099 forms for like 2 months straight. If you never hear the acronym IRS again, it'll be too soon. I, I, I believe that. God bless you. Yes, yeah, CeeLo, thank you so much. Always good to see you, buddy. Thanks again for the six months of membership. Look at this. We've already checked 300 sheep. The most important thing, though, when we're talking about individual taxes, Ari, uh, is... All this stuff that you can or cannot deduct doesn't really matter if the amount that you're trying to deduct is still less than what the standard deduction is. Um, so like what Shiny is just talking about, and he's absolutely right, like doing super chats and gifted memberships and everything like that, I could technically claim those as deductions for the channel. But if all that stuff added up is still less than what the standard deduction is on uh, the tax form, there's no real point in doing it. Mewtwo, what's going on, bud? Sure glad you didn't take your CPA uh, board exam. If you had to this uh, whole working life, but you go haywire, I bet. Shiny double looks like an inverted cow. I can't argue with that. That's pretty bad. Will you be able to continue? Nice, Tyler. Taxi business is a really dangerous monopoly organization. This guy running it uh, bald with a mustache and a monocle. You got shiny Sogaleo at 365 and shiny Landers at 299. Five phases uh, each for both. Nice. Congratulations, Joe. Ari, I can't tell if that's a genuine ha ha or if that's a ha ha. I'm going to assume it's a genuine haha -ha because I like it more when you think that I'm funny. It's fake. Ah, oh, crap. Well. 
That ruined my day. Caught a Galarian Mole Trace today. Uh, first try, I jumped out but stayed. Uh, second try, you got it. Congratulations! That's awesome. I have a Galarian Mole Trace that I found well over a year ago. I still have not even seen either of the other two. You've been battling Groudon, but uh, doing so is tough. Rate is 50 50. Yikes. Uh, how many uh, how many checks are you at now for that? I think after this check, I'm going to run to the little shiny hunter's room real quick. 67 checks. Oof. Well, I hope you get it before 100. So you've probably attempted uh, close to 140 total DAs. All right, not shiny. I will be right back. You're so ghasty. Intestines. Oh, no. Intestines are auditing you. Yikes. Okay, I'm back. Stopped at Pi times 10. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the 314. Technically, I did, because this is check 315, 316. You drew it yourself. I can't, I, I shouldn't say that I'm surprised here. You are an incredible artist. Oh, true. It'd be a hundred times. That's a good point, Keith. You're so smart. Keith, how did you get so smart? Thank you guys for the 31 likes. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm still hyped that we got that Omanite. That's another line done. You know, of course, the uh, the weekend that I go back to uh, go back to short streams is the week I finally make a command that links to my premier decks. What's for dinner tonight? Good question, Razzie. That's a very good question. I don't know if I'm going to order something for delivery, or I might go out and pick something up. I'm feeling, I think I'm feeling Italian. Probably only the second time you've ever drawn Itachi, which is really a shock. That is a shock. But what about you, Razzy? What's for dinner for you? Probably did five, not shiny. One, we go again. And seven, there it is while I was away. Well, we certainly did a there it is earlier in the stream. And there have been a, there have been a handful of not shiny. Feeling Italian. It's so insensitive to Italian people who don't have the choice, right, Nick? Oh my gosh, Ari. Ariana.
You know what I meant, you silly Billy. Frozen pizza? I mean, well, that's Italian. Evelyn, what's going on? Good to see you. Razzy, what do you like on your pizza? What type of pizza topping person are you? Uh, and since we're talking about frozen pizzas, uh, you know, basically the choices are pepperoni, sausage, four cheese, or supreme. Because that's pretty much the only type of frozen pizzas you can get. Capine. You ate pasta today. Today's an Italian day, I guess. That's right. Italian hype. Frozen margarita. That's a drink. Pepperoni and pineapple normally, though. Okay. I'm I'm kidding. I know I know what a margarita pizza is, but just reading it out loud. I mean, come on. You read out loud frozen margarita. Where does your mind go? Margarita pizzas are good, though. <laughs> Casa Bonita. Exactly. Very good, Keith. That does rhyme. Oh, my goodness. Tonosaurus spirits, the more we learn. I'm I'm familiar. I'm familiar with them. I had a dream where your dad uh, bought you a pink golf cart from Walmart, and there was, like, this indoor practice track for you to get a driving, and you were flying. Uh, but there were still people trying to pass you in their cars. What dumb butts they were. Get out of Ari's way. Wasting away again in Margaritaville. Does Wahoo and Let's I Go count for speaking Italian? Sure. Why not? Yeah, bro. Ari's on the road. Just go home. If Ari is driving a pink golf cart, what is even the point of driving yourself? Like, just leave. Was Walmart brand was only 150 bucks. Dang, that's a that's a nicely priced pink golf cart. I I'd buy two. I buy one to scoop myself around and one solely to do donuts when it's uh, raining and muddy. Keith and I would jump in the golf cart and and do donuts and giggle. It was also bare bones. Me and the boys on the way to Walmart are about to buy pink golf carts. That's right. Let's go. Let's do it. I think we can hit 400 on the uh, double. see if we can go for 400. I was thinking we could do 500, but I don't think I, I don't think the resets were as fast as I originally thought they were. 
Crocus and Walmart's practice track before. Yeah, it's very, it's very nice of Walmart to uh, to have that practice track for you. Hey, I just got a new job. Oh yeah, what'd you get? Uh, I'm uh, I, I man the uh, the practice track at Walmart for the uh, pink golf carts. Oh sweet. Yeah, that's right, Celo. Don't forget to deduct the golf cart from your taxes. All of my axes live in taxes. <laughs> Getting audit for pink. Excuse me, sir. According to your taxes, you purchased 38 pink golf carts for your business what what business do you run do you own a golf course uh no sir i um i have a uh pokemon streaming channel on youtube oh okay then you're good y'all ever been axe throwing you want to do that someday CeeLo, uh i have not a few years ago in town they opened up uh one of those axe throwing places and i've never been in because i am terrified uh, because on the door, it's like one of those like downtown stores, like it's got like, you know, like window walls. You know what I mean? Like you can see right into the business. Like you can see people playing. It looks like everyone's having fun. But on the windows, they have the name of the business. And then underneath it says BYOB. All I'm saying is I'm not going to a place where people throw axes if you can also BYOB. You wonder where the cashier thought of Dorian's buying five ball peppers? My guess is the cashier was a fan of the Dice Art universe and was just happy to be a part of such a magical day. Bring your own bread. Oh, that's what they meant, Eric. To uh, to keep your, uh, keep your stamina up while you're uh, throwing the axes. Froki, what, what, you, what even are you talking about, Froki? Bobby. B, Y, O, B. I actually had to think of you, Froki. You got me so confused. I had to double check. I was saying it right. Those five bell peppers were indeed tax write-offs, Harry. He was able to deduct the what three forty-eight, probably, from his taxes. I don't know how much how much are five green bell peppers. That one video of an axe bouncing off the target and nearly hitting a woman's head was enough to scare me away from axe throwing. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Now throw in BYOB to that Billy. He said they were expensive. Yeah, I mean, he is a connoisseur. He wouldn't get like those cheap peppers. He'd definitely go for the high end pepper. Uh, so BYOB means bring your own we'll say beverage so in other words uh at this axe throwing place where people pay for the opportunity to take sharp axes and throw them at a wall they also allow you to bring in your own beverage to consume while doing so you came to the front you came to the front They were on sale that day because they look spent. I did go to archery. You got a nine. Nice. I, I had dreams and aspirations for a brief period when I was in middle school of being an archer. No, not bullets. We'll just we'll say beverages for lack of a uh, better term to use on a Sunday morning. Bring your own beaver. Oh my goodness. Too many beavers. Five for five. Five for five bell peppers. Just like the uh, just like the Arby's roast beef sandwiches used to be back in the good days.
But yeah, back when I was in middle school, uh, I wanted to become an archer. So my dad got me a, a bow and arrow set, and I had like a little target in the garage that I would shoot at. And that was really fun for probably about, I don't know, a couple of weeks, and I probably got bored and stopped. I'm sure my dad uh, loved that purchase. I wanted to be cool like Hawkeye. Or Green Arrow. He bought the five ugliest, wrinkliest, driest, bitterest bell peppers in existence he did. He's thinking, if I buy the worst bell pepper in the world, then I will hate it. And then I can prove to everyone that I was right. Didn't even try and go for a good one. He purposely got the worst one just to prove his point. Your little bro was a moving target. Oh, no. Shrinkiest, too. It was the shrinkiest. That was a tiny little pepper. You wanted to be a cool mutant, so you threw playing cards around. Nice. I think, Razzy, I think everyone in our general era uh, has definitely played around with throwing some playing cards, right? Uh... Rasford, I was talking about it yesterday. I don't know if you were lurking or if you were here or not, but have you been watching the, the new series? Have you been watching the X-Men 97? And, they were, and you were so mad because bell peppers aren't, uh, aren't a dollar. They were so bad you didn't even use them for chili. So bad they couldn't even be chopped up and used for chili. That's terrible. Froki, you have? I am absolutely loving it. I was saying yesterday because I watched... Uh, no, you're awful watching anything. I, you know what, Razzy? Not everyone can be perfect, and if that is the one thing that keeps you from being the perfect human being, I still think you're a wonderful person. Uh, you saw the most recent, yeah. So I've been I've been saving the episodes to watch on Saturday morning, uh, even though they come out on Wednesdays because I like to relive that you know feeling of watching a Saturday morning cartoon. And I won't say any spoilers, but I will say yesterday morning before stream, I watched episode five, which is the newest episode. And I was so emotional afterwards. Like I was welling up, getting ready for stream. It was such a fantastic episode. It might have been the best episode they've ever made of that show. I am so freaking excited for the back half of the season. Um, I was so nervous. I was so nervous about them releasing X-Men 97, and they have just blown all my expectations out of the water. They're just nailing it. Every single episode has been amazing. Even last week's episode, which the first half was a little fillery and a little more like on the just like fun side, even that was pretty good. Instead of Rotten Tomatoes, it's Wrinkly Peppers. Oh, my goodness. Joyce, good morning. How are you, my dear? So, yeah, if anybody enjoyed the uh, the X-Men animated series from the 90s and you haven't started watching X-Men 97 yet, highly recommend it. I would even go so far as to say it could be the best Marvel animated series they've ever done. And that's just based off of five episodes. I say might. I don't know yet if it's going to be better than Earth's Mightiest uh, Heroes. Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. But uh, it's pretty darn good. Looking handsome. You must be talking to Dorian, Joyce, not me. No, no, Billy, these are brand new episodes. X-Men 97 picks up uh, a few months after the last episode of X-Men back in 97. It, it's a continuation. So, like, even though it's been, like, 20 years later, for us, it's only been about six months or so for them. You talking to me? No, you aren't. How was hair cross yesterday? Uh, I didn't go for it, Mewtwo. I typically don't go for the uh, the raid days just because there's not a lot of people around here that do the raids. Um, but uh, how about you? Did you go for it? That's cool. Yeah. So one thing I do recommend, um, if if you never watched it or if it's just been years and years and years since you've seen it, I do recommend going back and watching the last episode of the original animated series 
because a lot of X-Men 97 is based off of what happened in that episode. So I know like there's a reaction couple that I really like. Um, they've been uh, watching the new episodes and they literally haven't seen the original series since it was out. So like they have not seen an episode, you know, even a rerun of it for like 20 years. And they were really confused at the first episode of like, wait, what the heck? Why is that? Because they didn't remember 20 years later what happened in the last episode. You got one shiny out of the four you did. Nice. That's really good. What were the odds? I would imagine that's under odds, right? Two shinies out of ten raids. Nice job, CeeLo. Uh, it's starting to get a little overcast again. Dang it. I thought it was going to be a sunny day. You just vis uh, finished Invincible Season 2 the other day with a wild red. I still need to watch that. I had these grand schemes of reading the entire comic series before I started watching Invincible. But I just know at this point, with everything that's going on, it's going to be years before I finish reading it. I just need to, you know, shut up and just start watching. A 1 out of 10? Oh yeah, so you both did get yours under odds. That's really good. During you did a few, neither of you got anything but errors and kicked out. Ooh, that stinks. Beautiful day here in Florida. Lucky you, Froki. I mean, at least we're, we're starting to finally get some spring temperatures. It's been like in the 50s and 60s here, which I'm fine with, but I swear there's been one day in April that it hasn't rained. Rainy and really cold? I'm sorry, Joyce. You can solo those on like regular raid bosses. Can you can you normally I don't know, I'm new to being in the uh, in the level forty club. Can you usually solo a um, a mega raid? Beautiful day in Ohio. Oh, hiya. Why are the people in Ohio so nice? Because their state is, oh, hiya. That's a terrible joke. Please delete that from your memory. That never happened. Uh, not all of them with low CP ones like Heracross, yes? Okay, I didn't realize that. Because I do, I forget what research it is. I do have a research where I have to do, I have to beat 10 Mega Raids. And I'm on like two. And I just, I don't even bother with the Mega Raids because I don't think I can do them. That gave you gas. I, I understand that. Um, you love my new hat? Thank you, Amber. Just picked it up yesterday. All right, here we go. 383 and 384 on the double. Would I like a pity clap? I don't I don't need your pity, Billy. Mark is so cute in season two. Ooh, hi, Mark. Okay, Tommy. Thank you. I'm glad someone got that. All right. We just got a few more resets to do. We're going to go to 400 today. Thank you for the boops, Val. Season two is awesome. I uh, hate to wait years on new stuff, though. Yeah, I get that. That's like the uh, that's like the one big con of being able to binge watch shows, right? Is um. You know, you get really sucked into it, and you watch them as soon as you can, and then you gotta wait for for a new season, uh, as opposed to uh, ye olden days where there was like twenty five episodes a season. They were spaced out uh, throughout, like from September through May. Then you had reruns from May through September, and then the new season came out. And now it's like you can blow through a season just you know depending on the release schedule, anywhere from a few weeks to, you know, a few hours. And then you got to wait like two years. 
Mind you giving you gas too? Everything gives you gas. Twine, you were just talking about this morning. Next time you talk to Twilight Airy, please tell him that I said hello and I like him. x -Men, you have been waiting a few weeks so you can just watch more than one show rather than just one. You're so smart. You're so smart, Froki. I just can't wait that long. It's it's hard enough waiting for Wednesday to Saturday morning. She's loving this cold, I bet. She's been hanging out the front uh, and the screen door. Nice. You know what I really like about Froki is not only do they keep this like they kept everything the same basically. Like it's obviously not the same. It's new episodes and there's some new characters technically um but it's still got the nice balance between the action and the drama like the soap opera aspect of it with the interpersonal relationships and everything and they're still like pulling classic storylines from the comics like they're not just making crap up everything is based off of something i love the fact that every episode i can go in and i can pinpoint to the issue number what they're covering and they're just kind of slightly reimagining it to fit within the universe they've created in the cartoon it's just it's amazing like i i've been debating with the idea like after the season is over of creating a uh, a uh, uh, a video going over the spec uh, the specific storylines and issues that each episode of this new season covered in case anybody ever wants to go back and read the original version of it i'm trying my uh i'll try to remember but also you tell them that randomly out of the blue make them smile real big you know what you're right airy i'm just gonna do it don't 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 pass the message along forget i even said that i'm just going to randomly tech, uh, dm him later today and just tell him how special he is All right, last four checks. Like, I don't want to... What am I talking about? I'm going to rant anyway. It's it's X-Men. It's my stream. I'm going to talk about what I want to. Uh, when the first episode came out, or I should say the first two episodes, because they released two uh, on the same day, um, the reviews I heard were mostly positive. The one negative thing that I heard, uh, actually two negative things I heard were I heard some people saying they didn't like that there was a lot of current events stuff, uh, being, uh, uh, insinuated or homaged, like current political things being brought into the, uh, the episodes and also didn't like what they did with Rogue. And both of those things are just absolute nonsense arguments because, um, all that stuff was based off the, the, the comics. The thing with Rogue, specifically Rogue's um, interpersonal relationship with a character, I can tell you the exact issue numbers the, from 89 that uh, those are referencing. Uh, and the, uh, the quote-unquote political real-world stuff they're talking about. Dude, that storyline was based off of the trial of Magneto x-men issue 200 which was i think 1986 um it's just an unfamiliarity and the sad thing is it does go to a point though i can understand why some people saw um uh, uh were able to relate what was happening in the uh, episode with what has happened in recent historical events and just the sad part is, is that uh you know situations like that do happen and uh when situations like that happen in real life it's easy to see similar situations in fiction be referenced to that but uh ultimately it's it's just one of those like you know life is stranger than fiction type things uh you never expect to see something like that happen in real life you only expect to read about it so whenever you do end up seeing it in real life, when you read about it, you think it's referencing that when it's actually representing somewhat of a dystopian take on a future that hopefully will never come, but sadly it did. Uh, that's right. Now I can write off all my comic purchases, Ari. 
Your turtle says, good luck, Hefty. Well, thank you, turtle. I, I, I ranted so much, I actually went over the number of checks I wanted to do. We'll do this, and uh, we'll do checks 403, and after check 404, the uh, stream will mysteriously crash. But thank you guys so much for being here. I've had a great time. I hope you guys have, too. This is not shiny. We're going to continue with Carry Blast and Shelmet on the next stream. That is not shiny. Um, actually, no, that was check 401 and 402. We do one more. We do one more uh, stream checks. Uh, that will also give me... Uh, exactly, Alice. Exactly. People can see what they want to see, regardless of what the original intent was. Uh, while this is resetting, let me say thank you to Keith for 11 months and CeeLo for 6 months. I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate everyone that's been here today. I hope you all have a wonderful day in whatever adventures uh, you find yourselves on. And make sure that at some point today you do something nice for someone just because it's the right thing to do for no other reason. And no shiny. We'll see you on the next one, guys. We'll be back with Care Blast and Shelmet. Take care.